Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Nate Anime, and welcome back to my channel. So, I have just about covered every single Itasha vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online. But one thing that I have noticed about all these vehicles is that they are very expensive. A lot of you guys want these vehicles, want to collect all of them like I do. As you can see in my garage right here, I have just about every last one of these vehicles in this three-story garage right here but collecting all of them can be a little bit pricey in fact just owning one is pricey just by itself for example this right here is the class a scramjet this vehicle alone will cost you three million dollars this doesn't even include the properties that you'll need to customize this vehicle in order to get the anime wrap on this vehicle because this vehicle alone is three million dollars the properties to buy to be able to customize this vehicle around the same amount of money so you could be paying around six million dollars just to have the class a scramjet with the atasha livery on it but if you are a penny pincher and you have a hard time getting money in grand theft auto online there is a solution we have the karen futo yes this is an og vehicle back from gta 4 made its way into gta 5 and it is one of the cheapest vehicles that you can buy in grand theft auto online not only is it one of the cheapest vehicles that you can buy in grand theft auto online out of the entire list of itasha vehicles that are in this game this vehicle right here is the cheapest itasha vehicle you can buy for just around nine thousand dollars and better yet you can even find this vehicle on the street for free that's right ladies and gentlemen for free and in fact this vehicle right here that you see on the screen right in front of you i picked it up off the street very simple very easy despite me having so much money in my bank i didn't have to spend a dime to obtain this vehicle i literally found it on the street for absolutely free but again you do have the option to buy it for nine thousand dollars over on san andreas super autos website if you choose to do so and if you're wondering what's the second cheapest itasha vehicle out of the whole entire itasha vehicles list it would be the dinka blister Kanjo, which comes in around five hundred thousand dollars which is an okay car like i said it is the second cheapest vehicle out of the entire list of itasha vehicles in grand theft auto online and it is definitely worth picking up but this right here if you are having a hard time getting money this vehicle will do you justice believe me because you can turn this vehicle right here this plain stock karen futo from this to this and probably not pay more than a hundred thousand dollars to customize it which is insane so in today's video i'm going to be customizing this plain stock karen futo and showing you how cool this vehicle is so this is actually an og vehicle from ps3 this vehicle was in the game at launch and the problem with that is the speed is not so great the handling is not so great even though the handling is not probably not so great for a completely different reason but it's not as fast as other vehicles this, in fact i really don't think this car was really meant to be street racing in the first place it was meant to be thrown around corners if you haven't noticed this vehicle is actually based off of the ae86 but this is the toyota 11 version of the ae86 which is the slightly less popular but in a way can be pretty cool if you customize it and tune it right it can be just as good as the original ae86 custom splitter we got the rally bumper and we got the retro racer i think i'm gonna go with the retro racer for this vehicle and i don't know i don't think i'm going to make a direct copy of the last car that you guys saw that was customized i think i'm just gonna 
put my own spin on this vehicle of what how I would customize it now because I believe that vehicle that's sitting in the garage is a vehicle I customized a long time ago and have really just kept it the same rear bumper uh, drift bumper and the drift bumper and charm yeah, I think we're gonna do the drift bumper and charm um, exhaust options we'll see the type of exhaust we got here we got the titanium the race exhaust and the Shakotan, ooh, Bozozuka um, exhaust. Not bad, not bad. Um, personally, I'm just gonna put the race exhaust. I mean, I know a lot of people would probably put this exhaust on, and I don't blame them, but uh, personally, I'm just gonna put this exhaust on the car. Um, we can actually change the grill, okay? Don't have many options. Um, we can remove the logo off the front have it clean or we can just remove the grill entirely I want to keep the grill on I noticed in the version that I had in the garage um, the grill was actually gone I think I want to change that and actually keep the grill there um, we can get the carbon hood and we can get the vented hood um, I think I'm just gonna get the vented hood let's go for deliveries um, we got the classic decals and apparently this is how it is um, without the decals um, I'm pretty sure that's how it is in the game. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it comes like this, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, let's see here. We got the Futo livery, a little rusty. Uh, we got a drift missile livery with the peace sign. Very nice. I like that. Um, we got the Karen rally team, a legendary race, a Scandinavian flick. Got like a little drifting livery there. Very nice. Uh, another livery. Team Exotic, Auto Exotic, very nice. Uh, the Rolling Dude, number seven, not bad. But yeah, the deliveries on here are actually pretty good. We got the Garage Drift right here, and then last but not least, the Itasha Drift livery. And we're obviously going to add that onto the car, and then we get a roof option. What type of, oh, okay, 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 the roof spoiler. Very nice, I like that. Uh, side skirts, um, we only get one option. If we put this option on the car, it actually extends the livery, so okay, let's add that on there. Um, and then spoiler. All right, so this is where I think we'll get some crazy customization, or at least some of the most craziest customization we can get. Believe it or not, um, if you find this on the street or I think even buy it off the website you can actually get a version of this vehicle that doesn't have this little lip spoiler stock like right now um, I can change it and it'll just get like painted over but like there are versions out there I think you have to pick it up off the street though that don't come with that spoiler so if you're looking for a vehicle like that try looking for it on the streets we got the ducktail spoiler we got the GT spoiler which is pretty good, or the GT wing, I should say, which actually doesn't look too bad. And then we have the drift wing, which is a big boy. Might go with the ducktail spoiler. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the ducktail spoiler. Any other options? Okay, so we do have wheel options, and we do have new wheels now. We have the street and the track wheels, which weren't available when this car first came out, so this can really change up the car's look. Like, what's this, the... Endo V3. These wheels aren't too bad. I think I might go with those. And then for the wheel color, um, I could just put black. And I think that's what I'm probably gonna do. Um, white's actually not looking too bad. I'm gonna paint these wheels white. Why not? Do something different for once. Instead of having like black wheels all the time. The logo on the wheels here. I'll do the white for right now. I'll keep them on. And then the next thing we have to do is the respray. Like I believe the color I have for this vehicle is a diamond blue. But um, yeah, hot pink kind of gives it the pearlescent. If we do the P Fister pink, I'll just have no pearlescent. Um, I, I kind of want to do the P Fister pink. Yeah, it kind of goes well with the wheels right here. And then pearlescent. Um. You can make it white. And then secondary color. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I actually changed just the front bumper. Can we do hot pink on? Nah, not nah, doesn't look too good. Um, we can do the P Fister pink, which isn't too bad. Personally, I think it might look a little bit better like this. So 
Yeah, let's do that. And the next thing we need to do is the lights. We're not in the LS car meet, so I can't really go crazy on the lights or anything like that. Um, put some neons under here. Yeah, just 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 pink this whole entire car out. This is actually really good. Let's um let's take a look at it. And again, guys, this is for like nine thousand dollars. The amount of money I put into customizing this car is probably no more than a hundred thousand. Heck, it's probably no more than 90000 at the most. So this is actually a really, really, really good buy. If you are like short on money and just don't have enough money to go out and buy all these crazy expensive Itasha vehicles and want something on the cheap, I think this car is the car you're looking for. Now let's go back to the garage and compare. This is the car that I customized a while ago and it does look like I did actually add those brand new either street or track wheels on here so I have actually touched up this vehicle just a little bit in the recent months or possibly a year ago so I did actually uh, do some updates to this vehicle but this is how I customized the vehicle back then and this is how I customize the vehicle now. Not too bad, not too different, um, different taste. Again, obviously, you know, me, I don't really put crazy wings on my cars. Um, I just always go for something like a lip spoiler, or in this case, a ducktail spoiler. Um, but overall, I mean, the car looks pretty good though. Just, you know, slightly, slightly different. If you are wondering, this version over here is actually the more expensive version it is the cooler version though i will admit because it does come with the pop-up headlights but this will be costing you a pretty penny and even if you do buy this vehicle there's a lot of work that you'll need to do in order to actually obtain the livery for this vehicle so just keep that in mind but um yeah let's uh, go and take this car out and uh see how it performs the speed on this car is not so great but the speed is not what makes this car special. What makes this car special is how very little traction this car has. So as I did say before, this car is kind of based off of the AEA6 and because of that, this car tends to have very little grip on the road, which is a good thing if you're into drifting. And what makes it better is you can actually put the low grip tires on this car and make it more slidier there already is which um, I think actually might be the thing I might need to do so let me head over to the LS car meet and uh, throw on some low grip tires and see how much less traction we have with this car which holy crap look at that it just has almost little to no traction whatsoever all right let's see let's see let's see and wow yeah this thing has almost little to no traction this is awesome this is awesome. The only thing that would make this so much better if we were actually able to lower this car, like the Karen Futo GTX, you can actually lower the car because it does actually come with the Los Santos Car Meet DLC or update, so you can do that, but this car obviously has been in the game since launch, so you can't do that with this car, unfortunately. But, they did add in low grip tires, which every car in Grand Theft Auto is able to have and obtain. Oop. Yeah, okay, maybe just a little bit too much low grip there. We'll see how good this car drifts. See, and look at that, and it's even better if you know how to drift in this game. This car can be a lot of fun if you know what you're doing, especially if you know how to double clutch, which if you don't know, requires you to like hit the handbrake a couple of times while accelerating and actually like gives you like a little bit of boost so you're able to like keep a drift like right now yep like right now just then like if I hit the the handbrake okay well all that did is just make it spin out just a bit but it adds a little bit more boost not only when you're drifting but even when you're driving but like I said earlier you can get this car for nine thousand dollars and in some cases completely nothing you can get for nothing you can steal it off the street which I'm surprised I haven't seen any on the street I haven't seen any on the street in a while let me see if I can find one. Oh wait look 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 there you go 
there you go right there you can literally steal yourself a panda right off the street take this boy over to los santos customs and literally build the same as that car that you see right over there and it comes without the spoiler on the back too i was telling you guys there's a version of this car that comes without the spoiler there it is this is just one of my favorite cars in Grand Theft Auto and out of all of the vehicles in the Atasha list. Yes, I know the Sultan RS is kind of one of my favorites, but this one though, this is always going to be a cult classic. You can never, never go wrong with the Karen Futo. This is just like the go-to car for having fun in Grand Theft Auto Online and just Grand Theft Auto in general. But yeah, anyways, this is the Karen Futo with the princess robot bubblegum itasha wrap on it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like but that's all the time i have for today in this video i hope to see you guys in my next one